In today's video, I'm going to show you a number of passing related glitches you can do in Madden 23. Psych! What the hell is that? Some of these are game breaking glitches that will give you a major competitive advantage. While others are just different types of passes that you probably didn't even know you could do that are guaranteed to blow your opponent's minds. What is that? If you guys want to see the funnest and most overpowered passing glitches in Madden 23, stick around after the intro. The here. For the cheapest, fastest, most reliable muck coins on the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. Welcome back Money Team. In today's video I'm going to show you the glitchiest things you can do in the passing game in Madden 23. I've already put out several videos like this on other topics such as offense and defense and I will have links in the description if you guys want to check them out. If you guys like these type of videos and want to see more please make sure to be a subscriber, hit the like button and let me know in the comments section. Other than that thanks for watching let's get right into the video. I'm going to start out with some glitches that are already known throughout the Madden community before getting into the ones that no one knows about. The first one is the aggressive catch glitch. This is something that pro players have been using since the start of Madden 23 but it's slowly leaked out to the rest of the community thanks to channels like this. You can use this glitch against man or zone but it is mostly used to counter the meta man zero blitz. You probably want to use the tall receiver to do this but the footage I'm showing you is from a gameplay that I recently put out using the Eagles who have pretty average height receivers as none of them are taller than six foot one so you can really do this with anyone. I would just say the taller the wide receiver the better as it will give you the biggest advantage possible. I'm using a play from my Saints offensive ebook called the Saints Fork. In the original video I ran this play the entire game ended up throwing 500 yards and six touchdowns using this exact technique because it is absolutely broken. I will have a link in the description for a full gameplay if you guys want to see that as well as a link for all my ebooks which you can download instantly to your device simply by clicking the link. I am mostly going to be using the post route from this play but most people do this from a simple fade or streak as it is unstoppable if you time it right. All you have to do is watch the cornerback and wait for him to flip his hips to run with the receiver. Once he does this, you can either bullet and pass lead away from the cornerback, kind of like a back shoulder throw, or the more preferred method, which is throwing a high pass. To throw a high pass, all you have to do is hold in the L1 or the left bumper button while throwing the pass and pass leading away from the cornerback once again, either behind or in front of the cornerback, as the cornerback cannot turn around quick enough to make a play on the ball. The next glitch doesn't really have a name, but I'm going to call it the Invisible Man Glitch, as it only works against man coverage, but it does work against every single man coverage in the game, from Man Zero Blitz to Man Prevent. This glitch is very specific to a coding error that is only found in one play in the entire game, and that play is the PA Double Dig from the Single Back Wing Slot. I'm guessing you could add this to your custom playbook, but if you play Ultimate Team or just run stock playbooks like me, this play can only be found in the Indianapolis Colts offensive playbook right now. If we select this play, you'll notice that when you come to the line that the outside tight end has no assigned receiver icon above his head, which is something that every possible receiver, running back, and tight end has in every single play in Madden. If I bring up the hot route adjustment screen, you can see that it doesn't let me select the second tight end to put him on any type of route. In fact, it actually glitches out the select receiver menu, making it flat uncontrollably. To make this glitch work, all you have to do is select this play to start, then simply audible to a different pass play. This can be any play in the game that it allows you to switch to from this formation, as it doesn't matter at all what play you run for this glitch to work. But I would suggest a play like the stick non-vertical, since it will send this tight end down the field. After that, once you hike the ball, you will notice that the man defender responsible for covering the tight end will not move at all once the play starts, letting the tight end run straight down the field uncovered. You could also motion out the tight end and put him on a streak, but this might give away what you're doing eventually, resulting in your opponent using the route. But you can make any adjustments you want, and the play will still work. The next glitch is something that I'm sure most people don't know, and that is the pick route glitch. This can be done in multiple plays from multiple formations, but I'm going to focus on two different types, the most common being the bunch concepts. To show this, I'm going to use a very specific play that I've already shown in a previous video just like this, where I highlighted seven glitch routes, and I will have a link in the description for you guys if you guys want to check that out as well as a pop-up on screen at the end of this video as well. The play itself is called the Z option from the single back bunch. This play works best against cover zero, but I will also show a play that works against cover one and cover two next. All you have to do for this glitch to work is put the A or X route, depending on whether Xbox or PlayStation, on a curl route. This route works from this formation because the outside receiver has to run around the curl route, making a very high chance that the cornerback that is chasing will get bumped off his coverage, letting this receiver get open instantly down the field. 
This is not guaranteed, so you have to watch for the receiver to get a step. But if he gets past the cornerback, it's an easy touchdown. This is also a good technique to get wheel routes open against man coverage. The next play I'm going to show you is from my upcoming Raiders offensive ebook that I'm making behind the scenes right now. The play is called Drag Wheel Out of the Gun Y Off Trips, but you can also do this from the Y out as it is the exact same concept. The reason I'm choosing this play is because the B route is running an augmented curl route, showing that EA is already aware that this happens, since they had to change the normal curl route so it wouldn't get in the way of the wheel route. So let's fix that by putting him on a normal curl route so he can set a pick for my wheel route to get open. And you can see how easy this is to get big plays against any man defense. You just have to run this from a hash mark to the open side of the field so that the routes once again overlap, which will make sure that the curl route or cornerback man to him or both will set a pick for the wheel route to get wide open over the top once again, once the cornerback is bumped off his coverage. Next up, I'm gonna go over some different types of passes that I guarantee you didn't even know you could do. And the first one is the pitch glitch which is really just a cool way to throw a shovel pass to any receiver in the backfield. This is from another play that I've shown in the past, but I can find it can work from any pistol play as long as you have a play action play with two running backs in the backfield. It only works in the pistol formation though as you need a running back directly behind the quarterback for this to work, as well as a second player to pass to like a fullback or a tight end. If you guys try this out and find it works in any other formations, please let me know in the comments as I've tried this in everything from pistol to goal line as one of my favorite glitches to use in the game. I originally put this out in a scheme last year from the Pistol Week PA comebacks, but I found that it works in a few other plays, which I'll show you in a minute. To force a shovel pass pitch, you have to cancel the play action after the play starts by hitting the right trigger or the R2 button once again, whether you're on Xbox or PlayStation. But you have to do it exactly when the quarterback turns his back and fakes the handoff. Once his back is turned, you can then pass it to the check and release route and if you do it before the quarterback has a chance to turn around and set his feet again, he will do a shovel pass instead of a normal pass, which is a much faster throwing animation, getting the ball to the receiver much faster than a normal throw. I also find that the receiver doesn't slow down to catch this pass. Instead, he kind of gets an acceleration boost, leading to a bigger catch and run. I've also found this concept works with the pistol full house base with plays like the PA comeback flood and the PA boot. This type of concept works best against cover three and cover four because the cornerbacks drop back post snap, allowing short passes to get open even more than normal. At the end of the day though, this is just to add a little razzle dazzle to your offense in a way that will definitely stand out to your opponent, most likely making them think you are cheating and giving you a mental edge. The next glitch is something I recently found that I like to call the no hands glitch, which is another glitch that is really just meant to mess with your opponent's head as it really just looks cool and doesn't have any practical applications. This is another play that you can only do from a play action play in the pistol formation once again, as you need a running back directly behind the quarterback for this to work. The play that I'm going to use is the PA scissors from the pistol strong eye wing, but it should work in any play action play from the pistol once again. All you have to do to make this glitch work is wait for the quarterback to extend the ball for the fake handoff. Once he does, cancel the play action once again, hitting the right trigger of the R2 button and immediately throw the ball to any receiver down the field. If you do this fast enough, you'll see that the quarterback can't switch hands with the ball quick enough to match the input, resulting in him throwing it from an empty hand that makes him look like he is using some sort of force push to throw the ball down the field as it magically leaves his hand. This is a very hard pass to do as it requires quick hands and timing to pull off, but a much easier one to do is a no-look pass, which can be done pretty much the exact same way, only without needing perfect timing, as I'm sure most people watching this won't even be able to figure out how to do the no-hands glitch. Let me know in the comments section if you could do any of these or if you're still having trouble pulling it off, and I will do my best to try to help you out. To perform a no-look pass, you'll once again need to do this from a play action from the pistol formation, as you will need to have the quarterback's back turn once again. All you have to do to get an animation that looks like a no-look pass is once again, cancel the play action once your quarterback turns to do the fake handoff and throw the ball to a receiver who is as far left as possible on the field so that he throws the ball before he turns his head around, which will make it look like he's throwing a no-look pass. So that's it, that's the vid. If you guys want to see more videos like this, please be a subscriber, hit the like button, or let me know in the comment section. I will have another video popping up just like this about seven glitchy routes that I put out recently. So if you guys want to check that out, Click the link on the screen. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. My shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my bids and more. Link in the description below.